Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to episodes 394, 395 and 396 of One Piece. Oh my god, such intense, really dark stuff happened in these episodes and I got so angry with these episodes. I mean, just like seeing a human auction house, seeing Kami scared for her life, the fact that she's going to be sold off as a slave, like I just felt so sad and so much I just felt so sorry for her like I mean for all of them the ones that were getting captured to be sold as slaves and it was just it was so cruel to see and like, I've never seen One Piece getting this dark before so I, I was quite shocked uh like because like the fact that there's slavery going on like and people getting tortured and stuff like that's dark like even for one piece like it's usually light-hearted but this arc it's definitely the darkest arc so far i mean i mean it's not as dark as other shows that i've seen but it's still pretty up there wow man oh my god like i just got so angry the way they were treating all these slaves especially Kami because she's so adorable and she was so full like she was so excited to go to a Sabaudi amusement park but then to get kidnapped and get sold as a slave and that f Ugh, I got so angry and I really don't want to swear I'm like trying so hard to like lessen the amount of swearing I do in in my reactions now but I can't because of these episodes like triggering triggering me so hard and I just I have to like express myself and I just feel like punching the screen oh my god like the way the that fat piece of shit that keeps that has his nose drooling all the time fix your fucking nose first of all and why are Oh man, it was just so frustrating that they were, they were being so cruel towards everyone. I mean, anyone that stood up to them, anyone that um, disobeyed them. I'm talking about the celestial dragons and just like, and that fat one like wanting um, Kami uh, as a slave. So he, he basically made a bid of 500 million belly so that's a lot more than anyone could bid for in an auction so unfortunately nami's plan to use her treasure as 200 million belly worth unfortunately did not work because the celestial dragons appeared for the mermaid i mean for the bid but because mermaids are are like the highest value out of all the bids you could make out of all the types of slaves that there are they are the most valuable um and also really rare so to have Kami there her value is going to be really high and unfortunately one of the celestial dragons of course the celestial dragons i i figured before he even made that bid that he's going to make a really really expensive bid a really high one that's going to compete with nami and unfortunately his bid was higher than nami's bid nami was going to bid 200 million belly to save to rescue kami by acting like as if she's actually wanting a slave when she's not wanting a slave she just wants to rescue came in I've, I've got a lot of respect for nami for doing that i mean i don't i'm not i'm not a big fan of nami but like she does come up with some of the smartest decisions but unfortunately in this case it didn't work out because the celestial dragons of course they are the most privileged scumbags imaginable um of course they're gonna be extremely rich and unfortunately they had an even higher bid and i'm just i got so disgusted and not just that but to actually use humans slaves whatever as transport as well like fucking kidding me get a boat or get a get one of those bubble riders bicycles or whatever why the fuck do you need a human to make to like use as a seat? <sighs> I swear to God, man, I got so angry. Anyway, um, anyway, um, but these were really good episodes, of course, and I was so satisfied seeing Luffy at the end 
punching that bastard in the face. Um, I forgot what his name was, I don't even care. I, just, I hate that. I hate all the celestial dragons, especially the nose drooling guy. Anyway, um, and also we got to see Rayleigh. Oh my god, hype, hype. Rayleigh, um, he's basically like sort of like going undercover it seems like he's no one knows that he's actually Rayleigh the Dark King whatever that means and he's actually um part of Gold Rogers crew he seems to be someone who used to um be very good friends with Gold Rogers so that's really interesting and he's called Silver Rayleigh and then there's Gold Roger that's really interesting Silver Rayleigh in, very interesting names and it goes with gold Roger. um and he used hacky to um to um not basically someone tried to beat up Kami, so he saved Kami from getting beat up by the host of the human auction house um but she still has the neck ring around her so it's a really dangerous like oh man i just hope they don't detonate that on Kami. i swear to god if they do Oh my god, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I just, I'll just explode in anger. Anyway, um, and I don't know, I'm gonna turn Super Saiyan, I swear to god, if that happens. Anyway, um, I don't want to think about it. Um, so yeah, that's what happened, they still need to save Kami, how the fuck they gonna do that, I have no idea, but anyway, they've really pissed off the Celestial Dragons now, because Luffy just punched a celestial dragon and that's basically a death penalty um but I really wanted him to do that because they just absolutely scumbags anyway um so what you think of these episodes let me know and stay tuned for more